look how cool this is. I can't explain how cool this is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Hopefully you're doing fantastic today and welcome back to another add-on review. It's that time again where today we're reviewing the Fred Bear's Family Diner add-on made by Danny Fox. If I couldn't make it any clearer, it says it in the top right corner of the screen. I highly recommend you go check out this add-on. Once again, another add-on made by Danny Fox. The link will be in the description down below once this add-on comes out fully to the public and you can download it for yourself on MCPEDL. I'm really excited to check out this add-on today because two of my favorite animatronics are actually the Spring Locks, Fred Bear, and Spring Bonnie. So today we are going to be able to check these guys out in Minecraft in their mod form. So if you guys are excited, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. But without further ado, let's get into the review. So something that you'll notice is that we're actually starting this video outside and that is because I didn't build the location this time and to be honest I couldn't be asked to build one the lovely Danny Fox has gone ahead and built the location for us and you can actually do this yourself using the two items in this chest right here so if you get yourself a structure builder and a small pizzeria plans what you have to do is put one of these down and then hold the small pizzeria plans right click and it will spawn this location here I however I'm not going to do that because I don't want another pizzeria to collide with this one right here so I'm just going to put these two back in here but if you do want to know how to make this location for yourself that's all you have to do put the plans into this machine and you will get this pretty big location actually it says it's a small pizzeria plan but to be honest it's actually quite big so yeah this is Fred Bear's family diner thank you Danny Fox for not making me have to build another location just small things like that I really do appreciate but let's go ahead and walk into Fred Bear's family diner you can see we've got giant cardboard cutouts of the animatronics which I still find really cool small details like that are what make these add-ons so great. So let's go ahead and walk into the pizzeria and we're going to be greeted by the two makers of this add-on, Danny Fox and Miko. I hope I'm saying those names right. You, my sir, are looking very lively now instead of just sitting down in the chair. You're up and dancing. It looks really, really nice. You can see we've got another cardboard cutout of Fred Bear right here. Another painting over here. Oh, goodness. <laughs> over here, we've got the puppet and uh, I don't know about you. You are looking... Uh, Pretty, pretty unnerving, I'll be honest. And I've got regeneration effect. Hang on, do I have a regeneration effect on right now? I've got health boost too, and is that because I get close to the puppet? Yeah, that's interesting. So every time you get close to this puppet here, is this a security puppet? I don't trust you to be a security puppet anytime. And right next to him, you can see the amazing Spring Bonnie looking really happy and welcoming. I really hope that no serial killer decides to dress up in this suit and start killing a bunch of kids. That would be bad. Let's go ahead and enter the pizzeria and you can see all of these blocks. All of these come with the texture pack of this add-on. You can see here, this is cyan concrete. These, I don't know what these are, just paper like paper stuff is a red stained glass you've got blue concrete gray concrete so i think this is a really cool addition to the add-on that you are able to make your own pizzeria if you would like you're not just limited to the blocks in minecraft you can actually build all of this stuff using the blocks in the add-on so let's actually get started reviewing the most important part of the add-on the animatronics so up here on the show stage we are going to start with spring bonnie and spring bonnie this is supposed to be fred bear right now it says spring bonnie but don't worry that will be changed in the near future so we've got spring bonnie 1983 and fred bear 1983 and let's go ahead and place these guys down so let's go ahead and put fred bear up here like that can i spawn him please there we go we've got ourselves fred bear looking absolutely mega i mean my goodness sir you're big. You, you are very big. If there's one thing I've learned from add-ons from FNAF, they make me feel very, very small. But yeah, you, sir, are looking absolutely incredible. I love the purple and gold of Fredbear. And honestly, in Minecraft, this is so cool. Let's go ahead and scoot you over to the side quickly. We need to make some space for the second man of the show where we have Spring Bonnie. And oh my God, you look absolutely amazing. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I love him so much. I love him so much. It's Spring Bonnie, favorite animatronic. I, th I, think I think Spring Bonnie is my favorite animatronic. And Danny Fox has absolutely nailed it. I think we saw Spring Bonnie in the FNAF 4 review I did last year. I'm pretty sure, but I'm pretty certain this is a different model. It's a lot more updated since then. And it still looks amazing. I'm loving these models. And I really hope you guys are going to enjoy this add-on as much as I am. 
Well, we're going to leave these guys here for now. We are going to come back later because there is a lot more to see in this add-on than what meets the eye. So we're just going to keep these two up there for now. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the next part of the location. Let's just go ahead and visit the kitchen. This place, if you want to go check it out for yourself, again, you do what I showed you to do at the start of the video. I'm just going to show you the empty kitchen here. And then the back room here with a little bit of storage so you can put your cupcakes, cakes, whatever you want to do back here. But we're going to move on to the next party room, which is going to contain another family favorite animatronic i forgot they weren't up on the stage i need to spawn them up. yeah with the with the hype gone that's my bad next animatronic we're going to be checking out is foxy from 1983 all these animatronics are the 1983 animatronics you know what i'm yeah let's spawn him up on the stage right here just so we can get a good look of where he would be in his environment and look at my man here he looks so cool withered foxy again is one of my favorite animatronics because of how sleek he looks like that face mask it's so sleek compared to the fnaf 1 foxy this one looks so good and danny fox once again you did an amazing job he's got his little shorts on which kind of reminds me of fnaf plus you know none of the animatronics in the fnaf games actually wear clothes so i think withered foxy might be the first one to wear some brown shorts on i find that really cool and it's really fun that danny fox has added that into the add-on that massive hook my goodness that hook is gigantic is that the size of my head this hook is the size of my head i would not go messing around with this guy if i had any chance well, moving on for Foxy again, we are going to be seeing him again very, very soon, but we're going to move on to the final party room of this location. And if you could guess who it was, I mean, process of elimination, we've got Fredbear, we've got Spring Bonnie, we've got Foxy. Who are the last animatronics going to be? I can guarantee you're not going to guess. It's going to be the unwithered animatronics. We've got Bonnie, Freddy, and and Chica. So let's go ahead and spawn all of these guys down on their even bigger show stage. Let's go ahead and start with Bonnie. So let's place them in this corner here. Oh goodness, you look really cool. It actually looks really weird seeing Bonnie with a face because you know, unwithered Bonnie, I'm so used to seeing him without his face on that seeing withered Bonnie with his face, it looks really weird. I'm going to be on. It looks weird, but it looks really good on you actually. And those are some very, very sharp teeth. Oh goodness, I don't know about that. You can see the whiskers as well. The little whiskers sticking out on both sides. That is some amazing detail. Once again, Bonnie, one of my... I keep on saying all of these animatronics are my favorite, but I love every single one of them. Bonnie, again, one of my favorite characters. All the blue, the, bl the red bow ties. I was about to say blue bow tie. Let's go ahead and give Bonnie his friends on the show stage. Let's scoot you a bit over. Don't you pit pat with me. You can actually hear... If you listen closely, you can actually hear the pit pats are actual sound effects from the FNAF game. Let's go ahead and place down Unwithered Freddy here. Oh boy, <laughs> you are looking mega as well. Really, really bulky. You see that they're breathing. It's really weird seeing animatronics breathing because they're not supposed to be alive. Let's go ahead and continue with Chica. If I can spawn Chica down, please. You know what? Let's spawn Chica out in the open. This The show stage gear is getting a bit crowded and... Oh, wow. You are a lot taller than I thought it would be as well. You can even see the let's eat. Is is it, is it on her bib? No, it's actually a bit 3D. So it's not just stuck on her bib. It's got a little bit of texture to it, which I find really, really cool. All the confetti all over it as well. The giant beak. My goodness, that is, that is a terrifying looking head sculpture. I just want you to think of the creative passion that goes into these add-ons. You know, you just see the add-on as how it is, but you never really see what goes on behind the scenes. Like there are people who have made all these add-ons from the ground up to make these incredible things. And again, the fact that it's in Minecraft is absolutely mind-blowing. Danny Fox and Miko, you did an outstanding job with this one. And that is all of the animatronics in this add-on to review. However, we are not done just yet. In fact, that is just part one of the add-on reviewed. We still have possibly one of the coolest things I've ever seen in a FNAF add-on to check out. And I really hope you guys are excited for it as well. Back here behind the stage, we have the back room. And uh, just take a look at all this. Take a look at all this. Danny Fox has basically recreated the mini game from FNAF 4 where you see the crying child in the back room. This is just so cool to see this, that how much detail and how much time has gone into this. You can see the endoskeleton head, we've got the Fredbear head, we've got the Fredbear model, we've got the spring bonnie head, an endoskeleton body, an endoskeleton head. I'm pretty sure this is a spring lock endoskeleton actually. Like I said, they're both different. This is a spring lock torso and this is a spring lock head which are different than the unwithered animatronic. 
animatronics. We've got a hand here, which is trying to do what I think it's trying to do. And then we've got the regular unwithered animatronics endoskeleton parts here. But that is not what I was talking about, about this being cool. You know, have you ever thought in Minecraft, I want to be the animatronics and I want to wear my own spring lock suit? Well, today we can do that because if we look in this chest right here, we have got spring lock suit and another spring lock suit and a crowbar, which is going to be pretty important. And uh, Mr. Afton, if only you had one of these in your hand when you got spring locked. We're going to go ahead and go to this main room right here for this part as we're going to need a bit of free space to move around. But when I say you can wear these animatronic spring lock suits, I am not joking. Just check this out. If I right click this item, I become Fredbear. This is the coolest thing I have ever seen in Minecraft. I mean, I'm literally Fredbear. I can see out of his mouth as I move around and uh, I've even got the animation and everything. There's my head up there. Can you see my head? This is ridiculous, but it's so cool at the same time. Yep, that does. Uh, you see that countdown there? I should have probably mentioned that. Let's go ahead and use the crowbar. And now we're out the spring lock suit. You can see up there, the crowbar can be used one minute and a half and the spring lock suit in one more minute. So there's a bit of a cool down for all these items, which means I'm gonna have to wait a minute. But essentially what the crowbar allows you to do is exit the spring lock suit because you saw that countdown in the bottom corner. You can only be one of the spring locks for a minute at a time. And if you don't get out the spring lock suit within a minute, well, I'll show you in a second. Next, let's check out the spring bonnie one. So we're gonna go in third person again and we're gonna go ahead and equip it. It's so cool. It's just so cool. I love this. I love this so much. You can literally walk around as the animatronics. You can even see through the, like this perspective. Okay, I can't go in, I can't go in F1 mode. This perspective right here is just the best. It's just the best. I love every part of this add-on, especially this. I want to see more stuff like this from add-ons in the future. And uh, let's let that countdown go a bit further. I'm not going to get spring locked yet. We're going to do that in a little moment. But I'm just going to show you the timer. So once you get to about 30 seconds, you'll start hearing a ticking going on. Eventually, you'll start hearing the FNAF 3 error sound. And as you can see, it gets more red the closer you get to zero. So let's just keep on going. Three, two, one not today but oh no fellow viewer we're not quite done just yet there is still another whole part of this add-on for us to check out but before we do that i'm gonna go ahead and show you what it's like to get spring locked so let's go ahead and put on fredbear you can see we look absolutely amazing once again we can roam around as fredbear our little face popping out between the jaws but yeah i'm gonna show you what it's actually like to get spring locked now now i'll be honest the the perspective is a little weird but it will still make sense once it happens. So I'm going to be in first person when this happens, as I feel like that's the best perspective to get this. So I'm just going to wait for the countdown to end and I'll show you what it looks like. Three, two, one, bam. And we are now spring locked. <laughs> I, I don't know more I can say. We died because of that. Yep, there there is a... There is no escaping a spring lock. I know it's a bit hard to see in another perspective. I'll try to get another account on so you can see what it actually looks like. But it is really cool to add that into the add-on. And we'll actually go ahead and try out the spring bonnie one. As the spring bonnie one I find is a lot cooler. Three, two, one. Look how cool this is. I can't explain how cool this is. I, I genuinely can't. And for the last part of the add-on, I just want you to bear with me for a moment you are going to be able to control the animatronics. I'm gonna say that again. You are able to control the animatronics. So to be able to do this, what we're going to need is a lot of redstone. Like, so I've just gone ahead and went wild with redstone. So we're gonna go ahead and take one stack for now. We're gonna go ahead and place down Freddy Fazbear and we're gonna feed him redstone dust. And there we go. Now he is activated. You can see his green eyes flashing. This is part one. I actually forgot the second part. The second part, which I completely forgot about, you're going to need to type this command in slash give a a d f control and you're going to be able to get this control device. And this is how you actually control the animatronic. So now if we right click Freddy now, you're going to see we get a whole bunch of stuff in our inventory. Let me actually clean 
these two out the way so they don't get in the way. So now we have left, move, right, showtime, camera, attack, and off. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean. So you can literally move the animatronics. I, I wasn't joking when I said you could move the animatronic. So you can have them move forward while going in a certain direction. So really, if you wanted to, you could make a remote control car race out of these animatronics. So make a giant race car track and you'll just be able to do this. Imagine security breach, Roxanne's raceway. You're not racing go-karts, you're racing animatronics. Just think about that. Come back to this video when I'm right. These other controls as well are really cool. So let's go ahead and click the showtime one and right here, it's playing music. We got, I got no time. You know, you guys blasted me in the FNAF 2 review because I didn't know what the puppet song was. This time I recognize this song. So I'm going to go ahead and turn up the audio for you guys so you guys can hear this for a quick second. If you want to stop the music, all you have to do is click on this button here and that will actually stop the music. Now, if you go ahead and click it again, you'll actually get a different song. So now we've got the Freddy theme from FNAF 1, the Toreador March which is really cool. I'm not going to go ahead and play all these as it's going to be really long if I do. We got it again. Let's see if we can get a different one. This is the one from FNAF 3. Yeah, I think it's just those three. And then if we want to stop Showtime, all we need to do is click this and we're back to normal. So just with that Showtime, there was a lot to check out. So next, let's go ahead and check out the camera. And I will warn you, there's pretty big close up. So three, two, one. Hello. <laughs> that, that, that's a very close-up shot of Freddy right there. Uh, you mind uh, backing off a bit? I'm not sure where we are. Yeah, we're, we're pretty close to Freddy's face. How, how are you doing? We've got this attack, which shows their attack animation like that. That looks really cool. Let's see if we can sit down like right here and try it again. There is a bit of a cooldown. I'm not sure why. It's probably so that you don't cause a bunch of lag or something. But let's go ahead and do that again. That looks cool. Really, really cool. I love that. And then if we want to, we can turn them off and it turns them off just like that. Now, I'm pretty sure if you want to collect these guys, you just need to right click them with a chest and you get yourselves your Freddy back. So even if you're in survival or something, you want to move this guy around, all you need to do, right click him with a chest and you can move him all the way over here. This works with every other animatronic in this add-on. Now to not waste your guys time, I'm going to go ahead and spawn in the rest of these guys all next to each other so we can see them all going out at once. So let's go ahead and just feed them all. You can see their little level up thing. It's like they're waking up and they've all got, ooh, oh goodness. Uh, everyone else has got green eyes, but the Springlocks have red eyes. Not sure if I like that. All right, we're going to have to pay attention to you then. And we're going to go ahead and do the give control thing again. And there we go. So now we have control of, I think, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and find out. Just Spring Bonnie right now. Okay, so we've got the Spring Bonnie one. Let's see his show time. Once again, it's a, I'm pretty sure it's a different animation from what we've seen. Still looks absolutely phenomenal. I'm loving this. Whoa. The Springlock jaw just went absolutely ballistic there. Did you see it just flying around? Oh my god. Okay, let's check that out again. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not, but I think that should stay either way. So let's go ahead and turn you off just like that. Let's go ahead and see Chica's showtime now. Looks really cool. She's just waving around. She's got a cupcake in her hand. I really love this. I'm honestly gonna say this might be my favorite add-on made by Danny Fox just because of how much has been put into it. You know, it doesn't need to have a bunch of animatronics. It just needs to have small things like this. Like the spring locks, for example, make it better entirely. That That's what really does it for me is the spring locks. That's so cool. That was a bit rude. Let's go ahead and see his attack. You guys need to calm down. I don't know what you here have against each other. Maybe you're having revenge for killing Fredbear. I don't know, but you need to calm it down right there. Let's go ahead and see his attack animation. Which one is he going to get rid of? Place your bets in the comments below. Trick question. He got rid of... Whoa, I just noticed you flipped up your face. I wasn't even paying attention. I thought you were going to just destroy one of these guys. You flipped up your face. Oh, that's so cool. It flips up for a split second. 
that's actually really cool. That is really, really cool. I like that. So for this next part, we're actually going to need to turn things to night. There we go. Secondly, we're going to get this flashlight. There is actually a flashlight that you can use in Minecraft now. This is actually really cool. I've wanted something like this for a really long time, but now you can actually use a flashlight and scare away mobs because the way this thing works, if there's mobs chasing you like regular zombies or skeletons, this flashlight will scare them off. I think that is a really cool way to use the flashlight and not just have it as like a useful thing. You can see it just there in the corner of my hand. I think this is a really cool addition to the add-on. On. And one last thing I want to point out before we wrap up this video is that if you have any questions for the add-on, I recommend you go into the creative inventory, search add, and then you will see this item right here called how to use the add-on. Go ahead and right click on it and here you will get every single question that you might have for yourself. So here, how do you turn the, on the animatronics? How do you get the control? How do you use the control, showtime button, save animatronics, animatronic free walk, flashlight, structure builder, spring locks, and how to use the add-on. So if you do have any questions, I I highly recommend you go check out these list of questions right here. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave a good old like on it. And if you did to the channel, why not consider subscribing? If you do subscribe, make sure you hit the bell, make sure ring so you're notified every time I upload and you never miss a video. The link will be in the description down below if you want to go check out this add-on for yourself. But hopefully you guys did enjoy and I will see you in the next video.